Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 9 on string methods. Python has built-in methods for all string operations. Let us see the most useful ones now. First of all, I am going to create a string variable. The name of the string variable is name and I am assigning some string to it. Now, if we want to convert it into lower case, Python has the lower string method. So, how we do it is name, press the dot and then Python shows all the available string methods. Here we can select lower after typing the first few letters of the string method and press the tab key to complete it and give parentheses after this and the lower method returns a string with all characters converted to lower case. Similarly, we have the upper method name dot upper and here it converts the string all characters to upper case. There is another string method called capitalize. So let us see that name dot capitalize and what this does is it returns a string with the first character capitalized and the remaining characters in lower case. Now I am going to create another string variable activity is equal to learning python programming. The next string method is title. So I am going to type activity dot title and one thing to notice here is that we can configure the IDLE and in the extensions tab we can see that the autocomplete by default waits for two seconds so we can change that time by putting it as 1000 milliseconds or one second so activity dot title and this returns a string where every word begins with an uppercase character and the remaining characters are in lowercase so it has made a title out of the activity string I need one more string variable let me call it test string and here I'm going to put a bunch of spaces at the beginning this is some text and a bunch of spaces at the end now if we echo the test string we can see that it has spaces both at the beginning and at the end we can strip the spaces and the string method to do so is l strip test string dot l strip what this will do is it will return the string with the leading spaces removed so the spaces on the left hand side will be removed but the spaces on the right hand side are still going to be there we can also specify the characters that we want to strip on the left hand side so if i type test string dot l strip and i can specify any characters for example i want to remove t space and h so it removes all those characters the characters can be given in any order just as we have l strip for stripping the characters on the left hand side of the string there is the r strip string method also so test string dot r strip removes the spaces on the right hand side of the string that means the trailing spaces are removed we can also specify some specific characters in our strip for example I want to remove spaces and the dot so it removes the spaces and the dot on the right hand side of the string there is a strip string method also and it removes both the leading as well as the trailing spaces 
तो टेस्ट स्ट्रिंग डॉट स्ट्रिप रिमूव्स बोथ द स्पेसेस एट द बिगनिंग एज वेल एज एज द एंड नो इन पाइथॉन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द प्रीवियस प्रिंटेड एक्सप्रेशन वी डोंट नीड टू टाइप द होल थिंग वी कैन जस्ट पुट अंडर स्कोर सो अंडर स्कोर विल गेट अस टेस्ट स्ट्रिंग डॉट स्ट्रिप बिकॉज दैट इज द लास्ट प्रिंटेड एक्सप्रेशन let me create one more string variable job is equal to developer we have the count string method and it counts the number of times a string appears within another string so for example we can count the number of e's within job and there are three e's here as we can see One, two, and three. Instead of a single character, we can also count a complete string. So, for example, job dot count er, and there is one occurrence of er within developer, and that is towards the end. Next is the find method. We can find one string within an another. So job dot find we want to find for example el and here it returns 3 basically it returns the lowest index where the given string is found so if we remember the indexes in strings start from 0 so this is 0 1 2 and 3 so el string starts at the index 3 now if we try to find a string which does not exist find will return minus 1 for example job dot find and let us say we want to find ed within developer it returns minus 1 there is another useful function and that is ends with so job dot ends with and does it end with er so this will return true if the string ends with the given suffix else it returns false the next string method is is lower job dot is lower this returns true if all the characters are in lower case else it returns false similarly we have job dot is upper Now this returns false because it returns true only if all characters are in upper case else it returns false Now we already have the name variable now let us say within name we want to replace one string with another we can use the replace string method so name dot replace and here we have to specify the old string for example i want to replace do with smith and it returns a string with the old string replaced by the new string now in order to print strings we can use the print function but in the print function it prints in the default mode we can justify the text in printing by using some string methods so let us see those first of all i need a loop for i in range 95 to 105 i just want to print all the numbers so print str of i i is an integer the str function converts it into a string so this prints all the numbers from 95 to 104 as we can see this is left justified meaning all the numbers appear from the left hand side from the left hand side edge if we want to change that we can use the r just string method r just and specify within how many characters we want to print it so here we can see that now each of these numbers are right justified instead of 
right justification we can use left justification by using the l just function we can also center the printing and this is how we do it by using the center string method so let us say i want to center it within five spaces so this is all centered now and here we can see that each string has been centered and it has used spaces both on the left and the right for padding purpose instead of spaces we can use some other character also for, for example we can use an asterisk character for the fill and here we can see that each of these strings is centered and asterisk character has been used for filling up so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial